One of the essential things is tea, and this needs to be either black tea or green tea. Ordinary 1A sugar. This container holds some of my SCOBY. Um, my original SCOBY I got from a friend who showed me how to do it. Um, every time you make a batch, you get a new SCOBY plant growing. So that's our ingredients. So sugar, tea, SCOBY, and sugar, that's pretty much tea, it? tea, SCOBY, liquid, and water. And water, okay. You need something to measure a litre of water in, um, and then to brew the tea in initially. I prefer to use tea leaves, and so I've got one of these, which I actually uh, put the tea in. So this jar uh, is useful for um, yeah, maturing the kombucha once it's all brewed and ready to go. And you need measuring cups, quarter measure cup, half measure cup. I've just got a cup, which I have to fill. Teaspoon, they're the main things. Okay, so we've boiled our kettle, we're ready to start. So first thing I'm going to do is my tea. Okay, 15 minutes is up, so we pull out our tea caddy or our tea bags. At this stage the tea is still hot. You want it getting close to room temperature without being absolutely pedantic about it. It's got to be cool enough that it's not going to kill off the scope. Right, now here's tea uh, reduced to nearly room temperature, close enough. The jar that we're going to pour it into, uh, which I've rinsed with boiling water, and then my scope. So this is what we do. Pour the tea into the jar in which the kombucha is going to ferment and brew. You need a jar that's a litre to a litre and a half in size. Then we'll take our uh, lovely good uh, SCOBY, pop him in there so he can do his business. Once we finish, in 7 to 10 days time, you will find that we, the kombucha has made a baby, which we can prize apart and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now I've poured in half a cup of uh, pre-prepared kombucha that the scoby was soaking in so, yeah, from the last batch. Give it a bit of a stir. And then we get a bit of cheese, cheesecloth, muslin, cotton, something that is uh, slightly porous, clean and sterile, cover the top, plastic band around it so that the air can get through it. If you put the lid on it, and it doesn't breathe, it'll go mouldy. Now, that's all we need to do. And we let him sit there then for uh, seven to 10 days. This one here, just to give you an idea, has been brewing for five days so far. I tested him earlier and he's not quite ready. You can see on top, the way the SCOBY is floating on top, you see a little bit of fizz, around here. Uh, they can vary in looks, vary in, in colour. As it's getting ready, it will get more of a beery fermented smell about it. And as you taste it, gradually the sweetness of the sugar will disappear and once that's gone, you know that it's ready. Now here we have our kombucha. This is 10 days from the time that we actually did it. Uh, usually takes seven to ten days and from about five days you should taste test it. So if I taste it, that's good. And it's got a tang, very slight tingle of bubbles, um, slightly beery. If you taste it and it tastes very sweet or it tastes like sweet tea, you know that it's not fermented enough and it needs longer. 
usually between seven to 10 days. So what we do now to bottle it, we pull out our SCOBY and you'll find that the SCOBY um, has made a baby. So we now have two SCOBYs. So this is great if you wanna share it with friends who wanna do it. So you store the SCOBY for next time, you add in about half a cup of kombucha which you'll need for your next batch. Make sure the SCOBY is well covered, like that. It looks like it needs a little bit more just to cover it. Pop the lid on and you refrigerate it. And so all that remains then is to bottle the current batch of kombucha and drink it. So the bottle is just a, a mineral water bottle which I've rinsed out, scalded out with boiling water, make sure that there's no detergent residue in it or it won't work properly, just the same as the, the jar that you fermented in. You can see there the froth, that is the slight tingle, it's just slightly um, bubbly. If you would like it really bubbly, well then you need to do a re-ferment process, which I'll show you in another video. Well, the bit of the gunky bit at the bottom here, you can see, is a little bit of a scoby. It doesn't hurt to drink that. Most people don't like it, so I'm just leaving that last little bit. And then pop the lid on, and that can go in the fridge. And then when you want to drink it. chilled kombucha. Sometimes when it's really hot it's nice to have over ice. You can do a little bit, that much is enough to be healthy or you can drink a full glass, you can't drink too much. 